We already have the building blocks for this technology with pressure sensitive exercise pads, force feedback steering wheels and mind control games like Airhead. But scientists are conducting research into human motion and navigation that could finally crack the holy gaming grail of making a virtual game world feel exactly like the real one. These futuristic experiments are taking place at the Max Planck Institute for Biological Cybernetics in Germany, where they've built some of the most advanced virtual reality systems on Earth. And I went to try them out, starting with the one they call the pit. It's a very simple plank. Um, your task is going to be to walk over it, but in virtual reality you will see a deep pit below the, the plank. With the virtual reality headset on, I could see a dizzyingly deep void in front of me. Now, my, my heart rate is, is going up a little bit. Being forced to walk over it on a plank made it feel all too real, and my intense fear of falling kicked in. I am going to crawl across. No, I'm not. I'm going to sliver across. 16 motion cameras were tracking my movement to ensure that all the images I was seeing were moving in real time. That's really deep! <laughs> Woo what I was seeing felt incredibly real. But the next bit of kit I discovered took that experience to a whole new level. What I'm stood on is the omnidirectional treadmill. It enables me to walk in any direction for any distance without really going anywhere. I could now take a walk around a potentially infinite virtual world. In this case, the local town of Tübingen. This is where we were last night. Last night, we took a stroll through the town and uh, we passed these shops and I'm actually walking past these shops now. At least I think I am. This seven ton treadmill has 25 belts moving front to back, all on a separate belt moving left to right. The motion cameras work with it to compensate for every step I take to ensure I'm always in the center. Currently, this technology is being used in studies of how we navigate. But think of its implications. In a first-person shoot-em-up computer game, you could actually run around levels as if for real. Think of the workout that would give you. And this tech will utterly transform massive virtual worlds like World of Warcraft, making the whole experience so much more realistic and physical. The treadmill was amazing, but next door was the coolest, most mind-blowing piece of technology I had ever seen. This is a robotic arm that's been adapted for use as a motion simulator. I was being let loose with two tons of sheer robotic might that was home to the ultimate helicopter simulator. The aim is to hover in front of this wall using small, minute movements and not talk and get distracted. With its racing driver's seat and curved screen, it has the potential to revolutionize arcade gaming. The controls are so sensitive. I had it for a moment. No, 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 too far, too far back. Oh! It has six degrees of motion and an ability to endlessly roll the seat and screen. A gadget like this really could make gaming feel more realistic than the real thing. That's How cool. Amazing. <laughs> so cool. My favourite bit, yes, was the robot arm. Think about the applications for it, though. Drive simulating, flight simulations, and, of course, rides. Games! Oh. Oh, forget all those other three. <laughs> gaming! The Wii arm. <laughs> I can see it in every... I can see it in my home, basically. Can I just ask you a question, though? You know when you're going across the plank and you look down into the pit? Yes. Was it quite terrifying? It felt real. It felt as though there was a deep pit underneath me. I know the graphics weren't great, but I felt as though if I left the plank, I would fall. <gasps> Fantastic. Brilliant.